Today we're looking at uh, Leap Code number 206, reversing a linked list. This is a classic, classic problem. And if you've never done it before, it is tricky. It trips up people. There's, it's just a matter of keeping your pointers organized. But we'll go through this and we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way to kind of look at this in a way, uh, if it comes up in an interview, how to kind of map your, map your way through, through this problem. Okay, so here we're given a head of a singly linked list and we want to reverse the linked list and return the reversed list. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're returning five points to four, points to three, and so forth. So number one, all we're doing here is just reversing these pointers. One is pointing to two, we need to have this pointer over here point to null. 2 is pointing to 3, we need to break this over here and then have it point to 1. 3 is pointing to 4, we break that um, uh, pointer there and we have it point uh, to 2 and so forth and so on. Okay, here's 1 and 2, it's just going to be 2 and 1 and if it is empty we just return empty. Okay. So let's think about this here, let's go ahead and take a look at our conceptual overview here. We're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. And we have one points to two, two points to three, so on and so forth, and this points to null. Okay, so the way we want to think about this is anytime we're dealing with linked lists, we want to use pointers. And so we can have a current pointer we can have a next pointer and just initialize it to null and we can have a previous pointer and also initialize that to null and now what we want to do is we want to traverse through this list and every time we traverse we want to reverse these pointers here 1 to 2, 2 to 3, it's pointing from um, 1 to 2 so left to right we want to just switch that over from 2 to 1 okay so let's think about this here if we are at current right now, that's where we're going to start. What is pre pointing to null? Next and previous, right? And so first what we want to do is we want to place our next pointer over here at 2. Okay? And now what we want what do we want to do with our current? Current is current uh, current is currently pointing at next. We want to break this link here and have it point to previous, which is null because okay, we're initializing null uh, for previous. Now that we've broken that and we have current pointing in the right direction, what do we want to do? We want to we want to take this previous and move it over here where current is at because we have a reference to current and then we just want to move current over here to next because we have a reference to, to next. Now notice we don't have a link between 2 and 3. We're just relying on these references here. Okay. So as we move through, we have to build up those pointers from the previous to the, or from the next to the previous. Okay, so here we are in the second iteration. We are going to move over next. So now we have a reference to next. We're going to break this pointer here from two to three, which is current.next, and we're going to have set that to previous. Okay, because that previous is at, at one. We're going to then move previous because we do have a reference to current and that's going to be the new previous and then we just go ahead and move current over here uh, where next is at. Okay, let's continue on. Same pattern, we're going to we're going to move next over um, to current.next because we do have a reference to current, so we do have a reference to next with current.next. Current.next then is going to break this um, uh, pointer there and it's going to point to previous. We're going to move previous because we do have a reference to current and then we go ahead and move current because we have a reference to next. Okay, let's go again. So we're going to now move next over to uh, current.next. We're going to break this current.next which is pointing to 5 and we're going to have it point to previous. We're going to move over previous to current we do have a reference to that current which is going to be the new previous and we're going to update current and have it point to next 
Okay, let's go again. So now next is going to equal null because current.next is null. We're going to break this uh, pointer from uh, current.next and have it point to previous. We're going to move previous over to current and then we're going to increment current over back over to null. So our new head is going to lie on previous. Okay. And we just return previous and now our linked list is completely reversed. You can see 5 points to 4, 4 points to 3, 3 points to 2, 2 points to 1 and 1 points to null. Okay, so let's go jump over to the code. Before we do that, let's just think about time and space complexity here. So how many times are we iterating over the input? The size of the input relation to how many times we are iterating over it. Well, we're only iterating over it once. We're going through one, two, three, four, five, and as we're moving through that, as we're traversing through that list, we're just reversing the pointers. Okay, so our time uh, complexity here will be O of n. Okay, and what about space? What new space are we creating in relation to the size of the input? Well, we have our current pointer, our next pointer, and our previous pointer. And that's the constant, the constant amount of space. Even if the list is 5,000 or it's 5, we're only going to have three pointers um, that we're going to be invoking. OK, so our space complexity here is going to be O of 1. OK, so let's go ahead and jump into the code here. So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and create our current and set it to head. Go ahead and create our previous and set it to null. And then create our next. You can set it to null, but it doesn't matter. It's going to move to current.next uh, on the first iteration. And now we can say while current is not null, what do we want to do? <clears throat> Well, we want to move our next, so we can say next is going to equal cur.next. Okay. And then we want to update our cur.next and set it to prev. Then we want to go ahead and move our previous to current, so prev is going to equal current. And then we want to update our current, which is going to be next. Okay. And then we just want to go ahead and return our pre. OK. And so that is reversing a linked list. This is a classic leak code problem. It comes up a lot in other problems, too. So it's good to know this pattern. And with any of these linked list problems, I think it's just really important to map out your pointers and figure out on a whiteboard or a pen and, uh, on a uh, piece of paper with a pen how those pointers are going to be shifting or moving as you traverse through the list because it's very easy to get confused and I think this is a reason why this question trips up a lot of people is because if any of those things are out of order um, you know it, it will cause errors it, it will cause bugs so just really important when you're thinking about linked list problems to um, really make sure that you, you're aware of where the pointers are moving to as you're traversing through the list. Okay, so that is leak code number 206, reverse the linked list. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.